ever since the Air Miners conference, I felt like something big is coming to the air mining industry. It feels like I'm sitting on a surfboard in the water and the tide is starting to pull back a little bit. And it feels like it's gonna be a big wave in the carbon removal industry. Maybe it's gonna be a big wave of investment or a wave of uh, people joining to, to take jobs in this industry. Or maybe it's people just who are on the outside who are gonna do a huge cheer of some sort. If you're in it, I'm curious as to whether you're feeling something like this. Um, and if you're on the outside, I wanted to share some, some thoughts on how to get in the water. A lot of times I think people think when they start something for the first time, that's gonna be super graceful and they're gonna do great at it. The truth is it's probably gonna look more like flailing around. It's gonna look like uh, playing or jumping or splashing or maybe even sinking. Um, but that's what it is to be in the water and, and not on the beach. I've seen that a lot in, in the things that I do, uh, whether it's TEDx, uh, Kickstarter, or launching this Air Miners conference, all those things started out as, let's try this, it's an experiment, let's see if it works. And all those things worked out really well, and it's by being in the water and splashing and, and taking risks, potentially making mistakes, that's when you know you're in that, in that zone where you're actually doing something that, that matters, something that can, that can have an impact. Uh, as an example, I think about uh, inviting Kim Stanley Robinson to the, to the conference. That was something I wrote down in my, in my journal. I was like, of all the people that I thought would be really cool to even just for them to hear about the conference, I wrote down Kim Stanley Robinson. Uh, and then I reached out to people and asked for help. Like, hey, do you know this guy? And that was, a, that was a risk, right? Like think about if nobody had responded. Well, the fact is I do that a lot and a lot of people don't respond to a lot of things, but it's about the things that actually work. And those things really, that's what, that's what playing in the water is. It's sending those cold emails. It's pressing publish on those, those blog posts. It's launching a Kickstarter campaign. It's applying to an accelerator. It's all those things. Every time I send out one of these, these weekly notes, I'm like, is this, is, is saying this, does it make me uncomfortable? Because if it doesn't, I probably shouldn't send it. If it's just me d delivering some data point, who cares? But if it's something that's, that's a challenge, if it's something that's a risk, those are the things that are worth doing. And so I'm continually thinking uh, more about how do I do more of the things that feel uncomfortable and seem like a risk and actually stop doing the things that seem like they, they aren't a risk. If you ask yourself, what if this succeeds and the result is like, well, if it succeeds, then I don't learn anything. Or if it succeeds, then uh, then nothing else happens. Then you sh just should stop doing those things. Whereas if it succeeds, I mean, think about the if the Kickstarter campaign succeeds, wow, then we've established a, a beginning fledgling brand for pulling carbon from the air. If the conference succeeds, the largest gathering ever of people in the air mining community, wow. If the email succeeds to, to connect to Kim Stanley Robinson, 99% chance it won't go anywhere. But if it does succeed, holy crap, he could be the keynote speaker at the Airmanized Conference. And that's exactly what he was. And he was incredible. So all those things were risks. All those things were, were experiments. Uh, I think about the failures too. I think about, you know, I tried to meet Tim Cook at one point. That didn't go anywhere. Uh, I almost joined a, a venture capital firm. Uh, that, didn't, that didn't work out. So my question back to you is, do you feel this wave rising in the air mining industry? What does it look like to you? And if you're not in the water, what's the climate thing that you've been waiting to do? What's the, the blog post that you've been waiting to publish or that you're, it's short of being almost perfect for you, it's, you feel like you'll be run out of town if you publish it. Those are the blog posts you should definitely publish. The, the blog posts that you're comfortable with, nobody wants to read those. Uh, so get in the water, apply to the accelerator, email the investor, publish your manifesto, and ride the wave.